Hey YouTube, it's Rudy C. Um, I'm just gonna start off by saying I apologize for all the mispronunciations, but I keep stuttering and I just can't talk tonight. But regardless, this video is going on there. I've been wanting to do it, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay. Um, this video is going to be about some things that you should be aware about uh, subcutaneous injections. Um, um, I guess this is just really a list that I I wish I would have found or known about when I started. <laughs> but um, yeah, so maybe it'll be helpful. For helpful to you if you've already started, but this is this is my experience. First things first, when you do a sub -Q, I'm just gonna sub Q. When you do a sub Q and subcutaneous injection, <laughs> you need to record it. I have a little calendar. It's a cute little puppy. Yay. Um but I record it and I also record the injection site. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um you need to rotate your injection site often because if you just use one site, one leg, you know, or whatever, too many times you will build up scar tissue and for people taking um with RA or what have you that are taking things that weaken your immune system and everything, you'll notice that you bruise easier, you also produce scar tissue easier. So that can become um, an issue pretty quickly. So, you know, I rotate it and I also make sure that I record it on my calendar. Okay. Um, the second thing, don't run out. Um, I mean, it's not a life-threatening thing if you run out, but try your dangness not to run out because, um, it just throws your schedule off. And a lot of these medicines are special order and the pharmacies, pharmacies won't have them on hand. You know, it's not like amoxicillin or prednisone or something where you can just turn the prescription 30 minutes later you have your pills and you know it's not like that um i'm hurting i'm sorry um so don't run out like some injections are once a month then about halfway through the month you probably should call your pharmacy and get go ahead and refill it um like with mine, it's a weekly injection, so I just did my third one out of the box, and I called my pharmacy to get it refilled, so I will have it soon. Um, so yeah, don't try your best not to run out. I remember one time there was an issue with the pharmacy where I had, I, I had just switched pharmacies, and there was a huge mix-up, and... Um, Long story short, I wound up having to wait about four more days for my prescription to get in, and I really freaked out about that. Um, it was over a weekend, so I wound up putting, like, an emergency call into my doctor, you know, crying. I was like, am I going to die? You know, because I've stopped medication in the past. Like, cold turkey just stopped it, um, and it was sort of on accident. But as a result, I had a seizure. So I really, really don't like running out of medication. <laughs> but, um, you know, she, she assured me that nothing like that's going to happen. But you don't want to mess up your schedule, you know. Um, okay, what's next? Disinfecting. This little alcohol prep will save you a lot of heartache, <laughs> or not heartache, but a lot of pain. Um, 
I remember I got my Simzia one time and I was in a lot of pain. I didn't think about it. I had just put it in there and squirted it and I was done. And I was like, I looked at my friend afterwards and I said, oops, <laughs> I forgot to disinfect. Um, and I was like, oh, nothing's going to happen. But I did get a rash from it. Okay, so um, always disinfect. And not only disinfect the site that you're doing, disinfect the needle as well. Um, and let, let the alcohol dry before you put the needle in. Otherwise, it's going to sting. Um, and also, with your prescription, whether it's in a pen or a syringe, leave it out for 30 minutes to an hour. It differs from whatever you're taking, but 30 minutes to an hour um, and let it get to room temperature because that cuts down on the stinging as well. Um, next thing is stupid. and I, I don't know why this isn't it, it seems so obvious, but um, after you've done your injection and you have the cat, when you're in a lot of pain or you're just not very coordinated like me, don't try to put the cat back onto the needle. It's um, like these I can do okay if I do it slowly. Well, now I just bent the needle, which is probably good. But <laughs> um, don't try to recast your needle because you wind up poking yourself and it's just not fun. <laughs> um, I would recommend just throwing it just like this into your sharps container. Um, which brings me to my next point, sharps container. Um, my pharmacy did not supply me with a sharps container, neither did my doctor, but they both said just to use a screw top puncture proof container. So what I have is this tin container, it used to be tea, it was a really good tea by the way, um, and it's not screw top but it is puncture proof, they said you could use like milk jugs or um, like liquid your laundry detergent, like your liquid laundry detergent, when that's done, you can wash it out and use that. And that's what I'm going to do, but it's not quite, I'm still using it. So, um, you know, you just put it in there and tap it off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, something about your medicine itself. You need to be aware of what it's supposed to look like. If it's supposed to be a certain color, make sure it's that color. Um, check your expiration date. It's very, very, very important. I had, when I was on um, Humira, I had a um, one that, the first one I the first one in the box I did went bad in like 2013 or something expired. The next one was actually pretty close to expiring. Um, so since then I've always made sure that I check the expiration date um, because you just never know. And make sure, you know, it's the color it's supposed to be. Make sure most. Most of my medications are clear, and you want to make sure there's no crystals or cloudiness or, or particles in there at all. Um, and I think that's about all I had. Um, yeah. I will be updating in probably about a week um, because I just did my fourth injection of Arencia. God, I can't remember what I'm on anymore. And I just wanted to make a video about it and tell you guys what's up with that. So, 
anyways, hope you're doing okay.